Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I will show you how I added this neck trim to this sample. I know that there are other ways to add a neck trim to a garment, but this is a great way to doing it if you don't have a linker or if you cannot shape necklines on your machine or you have to cut your neckline for any other reason. It is best to start with a pattern piece for the neckline curve desired and have the center front marked on it. I am just going to demonstrate on this old sample knitted on an 8 gauge tube aid. I marked my center front on both the sample and pattern piece and I will align them. Draw the neckline curve on the sample. It's probably best to use some chalk or wax. I am just using a pencil this time. However, we won't be able to see this line as it will be hidden afterwards, so it's entirely up to you. You can use some weights or pins to stop the pattern piece from moving. Stitch along the drawn line using a similar color thread or yarn, making sure the stitches are not too tight. This will mark the neckline on both sides, will stop the sample from unraveling and will stop your neckline from pulling if you want to overlock it. Cut the neckline leaving about 1 cm from the line marked. You can overlock this edge or just leave it like that. I'm going to have a folded trim so no one will actually see this edge, so it doesn't necessarily have to be overlocked. It all depends on what yarn you use to knit your garment with, because there are some yarns that unravel really quickly and can transform this in a complete disaster. I knitted a 20 stitches tension swatch for my rib and this will help me calculate how many stitches the whole trim will be. There are probably other ways to do this but I prefer to mock my swatch on the curve and see how many times it will fit in. This method works for me but you can use any other method you prefer. I am making sure I am stretching the rib a little bit, but not too much. I would recommend you try this on a sample that you don't need at first to practice. And this is the actual trim. I knitted two rows at a slightly tighter tension halfway through my rib. This will make the trim naturally fold in half and it will give a nicer edge. Make sure you mark the center of the trim. Knit quite a few rows of contrast waist yarn. Starting by aligning the two notches, pin the rib from the center to the sides.
and it's time to link. This is probably the trickiest part. Use a latch tool or a crochet hook. That stitch we did earlier will guide us, so we have to make sure we stay as close as possible to it in order to get a perfect neckline. Make sure you will go in every single stitch of the rib, right in the loop of the last row before the waist yarn. The linking will look exactly the same as when using a linker, with a chain stitch on the wrong side. I highly recommend practicing this for a bit, as it can be quite difficult to get the hang of it. So we're going in right next to the marker stitch, through the rib stitch, both purl and knit. We grab the yarn and pull it to the wrong side to create another chain stitch. And now it comes the most satisfying part of the whole process, removing the waste yarn. The only thing left to do now is to sew the trim to the wrong side. You can do this in any way you like. I'm just catching the cast on row loop and going through the chain stitches.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you've learned something useful for your future projects. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Also, I left this video without any background music as you suggested in your feedback. Let me know if this makes the videos easier to follow. My name is Elena and I'll see you in my next video.